Hi and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to look at uh, monitoring uh, an MT MQTT broker by actually sending messages through it and if you look back on the tutorial I did on the website on monitoring MQTT brokers this is the third method we have of actually monitoring the broker and it's actually probably my preferred method uh, because you can mon monitor multiple brokers and a machine can be running multiple broker instances and you can monitor each instance of that broker running on that machine. Now you can do this with any programming language I've written scripts to do with on Python but my preferred way of doing it is actually using a, a node red flow and this is the flow here. Um, the drawback of using node red as opposed to using a programming language like Python is the fact that it's not so easy if you've got multiple brokers to monitor. Now I'm going to mo demonstrate monitoring three brokers. Now you could add a node in here for each broker you're going to monitor. Uh, whereas with Python you just put them all in a list and you just loop through that list. However Node-RED gives you uh, a graphical interface and it, it gives you a nice display and it's actually very very easy to, to do with Node-RED. So this is the flow here and this is the result of the flow here. So we're monitoring three brokers and we're going to display the status and we're going to delay, display the delay which is the time it takes the message to go back into the broker and back out again. So we basically send the message and we receive the message back and we time the the delay on that message and here we just got a chart uh, which displays it quite uh, quite nicely and these two here uh, are actually internal brokers they're on my local network and this one here is actually on the internet it's the the test broker So at the bottom we've got the send part of the, the flow. Uh, we're going to send every five seconds and that's governed by this uh, inject node here. Uh, it, the function node actually puts the message together and what we're doing is actually we're sending a count. So we're storing a count in, um, in a variable called data.count. Uh, it's a flow variable and we're at attaching that count to the actual payload so we're using test colon count and you can see it here going out test colon 261 now we're using this count so we can match it up on the receive side so we're going to receive this message and and we're going to use the count to determine whether the broker is up or down now we can extract on the receive side we can extract the count from the actual incoming payload and I'll show you the function that does that in a second but also um, when we send the message we actually put the actual broker name which is testofsmosky.org in the actual topic and you can see I've got it here 151 and 121 in the topic and again we're going to extract the broker name from this and this is what you see displayed in here you can see the broker names up here and we're going to store details about the actual broker in a flow variable and you can see here I've got it stored in brokers here and just drag it across there you can see I've got a count, I've got a broker name, I've got a delay in the status and this is the color of the icon there so this function node here receives the data it splits the topic, it splits the payload, it extracts the count from the payload, it extracts the broker from the topic and it stores the information in the broker's variable here the last message receive count and it stores the the delay time it stores the delay time by subtracting the current time from the the time the data was sent and we store the time the data was sent in this flow variable here data you can see it over here it's storing the count so what we're sending and it's storing the time it, it sent the count now the count and the time sent is the same for all of those three brokers and then we've got a function down here which checks the status and this is the one that checks the the count and it checks the count against the the last count received and if it's greater than one then it says the status is down and it changes the icon to red and that's it's quite a straightforward flow here 
Okay, uh, let me just finish off by showing you what happens when I take the broker down. So I've just taken the broker down and you should see the state has changed. There it's gone red and let me bring the broker back up. and the status has gone green. Okay, um, that's it. It's a flow for um, monitoring the status of a broker and it monitors the status of broker by sending messages to the broker and receiving those messages from the broker. And not only that, it actually gives you an idea of how long uh, the round trip delay is on that broker and you should notice on these if you if you're actually testing a broker and the broker is under under load you can you shall see the the actual message latency the delay actually start to increase as the load on that, bro that broker increases okay so that's it that's the end of the video um, you know the procedure if you like the video then click the like button if you've got comments then leave them in the comments up below and if you want to be notified of new videos on the channel then you, you need to subscribe and click on the notification bell until next time bye